Welcome to Maxibility. To unfold different layers of knowledge, stay tuned with us till the end of the video. Hello everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to fill in a web form. We will be using the browser Safari, operating system Mac and the screen reader VoiceOver. Let's get started. And this is lesson 10 using Mac with VoiceOver. As in every web page I am discussing with the screen reader VoiceOver, the first thing that we do is to check the title of the page and the summary of the page. Similarly, in this page also, we are going to check that first. The shortcut command is Control Option Shift I. Control Option is the VoiceOver key plus Shift plus letter I. Accessible form example, Maxibility page has one link, two headings, five form controls. It read the title of the page and also said one link, two headings and five form controls. So to navigate the web page, we will be using the shortcut command control option that is voiceover key plus right arrow to go forward and left arrow to go backwards. This will navigate to every element on the page including headings, links and form controls. Let's do that first. Control option, right arrow. And you are on the first element on the page. Heading level one, accessible forms. Forms can be made accessible with simple HTML markup. Alternately, there are ARIA ways in case of non-native HTML markup. In the below examples, let us observe different ways of making forms accessible. So we said in the below example, let us see different ways of making the form accessible. But for the purpose of this video, we are only limiting our experiences on the native HTML way of creating a web page and using the native controls. List one item. Bullet. Link. HTML way. End of list. I am pressing voiceover plus right arrow. Heading level two. HTML way. So if you observe, it has been navigating through the headings, paragraph and links. It's going to every possible element on the page, irrespective whether that is interactive or non-interactive. First name, edit text. First name. Last name, name, edit text. Last name, edit text. Credit card number, edit text. Credit card number, edit text. Expiry date, edit text, month and year field. Continue button. Continue button. Now let me go back, control option left arrow. Expiry date, edit text, month and year field. Credit card number, edit text. Last name, name, edit text. First name, edit text. First name, let me fill in my name here. R K E S H. When the Rapid. voiceover reads the name of the field or the label of the field, you can just type in and there is no difference between the forms mode and the browse mode when you are using voiceover on Mac. Everything is the same. Last name, name, edit text. Last name, name, edit text. So it said last name, name, and I'm just typing in the last name. P-A-L. Misspelled. Paladugula. Okay. So that is one way of navigating to the from forms along with all other elements. Let me go back to the top. Control option left arrow. Rakesh. Insertion at end of text. Heading level 2. HTML way. End of list. Link. HTML way. Bullet. List 1 item. Forms can be made at heading level 1. Accessible forms. So that is one way of navigating. The second way of navigating is to press the tab key to go forward and shift tab to go to the previous item. And in this navigation, the focus will only go on to the interactive controls. It don't go to the non-interactive controls. On this web page, the headings and a paragraph of text are the non-interactive controls. So let me press tab. Rakesh, content selected, first name, edit text. Close button. Rakesh, content selected, first name, edit text. So it said first name, Rakesh. Paladugula. Content selected. Last name name. Edit text. Last name. 
Credit card number, edit text. Credit card number, edit text. In the previous two form fields, it also read out the text that is what we have already filled in just few minutes ago. Expiry date, edit text month and year field. Continue, button. So in each of these form controls, the screen reader is reading the label and also says that it is the type, the text box and also um, allowing you to type in, we'll be typing in now. And in the last control, it said continue button. Button is the type of the element and continues the label of the element. So I'm pressing shift to tab to go back. Expiry date, edit text month and year field. So it said expiry and month and year field. So let me press type in Chen, uh, January. Chen, two, zero, two, two, zero, two, two, two. Credit card number, edit text. Credit card number. Five, five one, two, three, five, two, three, one, five, one, two, three, five, two, three, one, one, two, one, two. Five, one, two, three, five, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, six, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, six, two, three, four. Some random 16 digit credit card number. Pressing shift to tab. Paladugula. Content selected. Last name name. Edit text. So for example, if I have to delete, I can use backspace to delete this. Paladugula. Because the entire name is selected here. And I can type it again. P A L Miss U G U A Paladugula. And it works the same way. Now, if I have to delete one character from the left, I can press A, A L U G. And I can type it again. U A. Shift down. Rakesh. Content selected. First name. Edit text. Rakesh. Content selected. First name. Edit text. It is also saying content selected and if you want to delete the entire name if you press just the backspace it's get deleted or otherwise if you want to just delete one character maybe you just need to move your cursor left right arrow keys in there R Rakesh R A K E S So if I want to delete S S I have been able to do that H H H S H So that Rakesh. is how that is how you interact on the web page with the form controls thank you very much for watching this video and we'll be talking about more form controls and more ways of interaction in our advanced concepts if you like this video hit the like button and do not forget to share it with your friends bye bye dismiss pop over Stop recording. Thank you for watching and being with us. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to click on the bell icon. And also for more updates, subscribe the channel.